Hi, uh, welcome to the world of hacking. So today we are going to see the CSRF attack. So CSRF attack is the cross-site request forgery attack. So this is one of the most you know important and uh, very very uh, useful attack for any web application where an attacker can do the penetration testing and exploit so let us see what is this csrf attack and how can we exploit it practically so to understand the csrf let us go with the two main websites for the definitions so guys you can follow the standard websites for the csrf definition which is ovasp and also you can follow the ports figure website so what ovasp is telling csrf it is an attack that forces an end user to execute unwanted actions on a web application in which they are currently authenticated this is one of the definition from owsp and this is the definition from ports figure so cross site request forgery also known as csrf is a web security vulnerability that allows an attacker to induce users to perform actions that they do not intend to perform so these are two definitions from the standard websites but according to me if we have talking in the layman language to understand for everyone csrf attack it is a cross-site request forgery so the name itself says the forgery of the request so this is an attack if an attacker is trying to do the forgery of a particular request and sending that forgery request to the victim if victim is clicking that forgery link and the action happens in the back end so whatever the submit action happens in the back end then the csrf attacks is successful that is the clear definition of the csrf so where this csrf is mainly occurring in the csrf is mainly happened in banking applications and any e-commerce websites or any form submission web pages so there are multiple web pages in the application where you see any form submission pages this csrf attack is successful happening so let us see some example how a csrf attack can be found how csrf attack so here we are taking the demo application so in order to perform the csrf attack we require an application and we are performing some dvwf which is a damn vulnerable web application this dvw application let us see how csrf attack can be performed so i have a setup having with vmware installing the dvw and uh, using the ip address we can directly log in into the GBW applications. So let me log in first. It's let me enter log out. So this is the DBW web application where we can use the username as admin and password as password. So this is a default username password for the damn vulnerable application. This is an intentionally vulnerable application where you can practice the multiple vulnerabilities so here today we are learning about the csrf attack and i'm opening the csrf attack here so here the scenario is there is a new password and confirm password so if application is having any admin password to change any attacker can change the admin password and he can log in into this according to our definition csrf attack is doing the forgery request and sending that request to victim or user and if the victim is clicking that link 
then the password will change automatically without knowledge of the user so let us see if this password has been changed without knowledge of the user then the csrf attack is successful so for this let us use tool called burp suit we can use the burp suit for interception and we can try to exploit this attack so first let us have intercept on in the burp suit and give the password so here we are going to give the new password right so the new password is let us give new password and the confirm new password is new password so the password is new password which i have given in this i'm trying to change this as a new password this i'm trying to intercept it click change the request comes to the interception this is my get request this is my new password new password when i log in it should come as a new password this original request we are going to do the forgery so to do the forgery we can use engagement tools in the engagement tools we have generate csrf poc so this generate csrf poc we can utilize to create the csrf html form so either you can create this manually or you can also create using burp suit tool so you can make a note of this form and you can even create in the manual part so copy this html close and paste it in your notepad this is your original request this is your original form where we are doing the forgery of the request so you can type easily if you guys know html you can type this directly in the notepad and you can do the form forgery of the particular application this doesn't require an advanced skills this requires a basic html so now let us save this form in one of the desktop and we can write it as csrf poc dot html so i'm saving it as html because this forgery link i'm going to send to the victim and victim clicks this then this particular attack will happen successfully so let us send this so we can forward this request and see whether new password has been came up first so forward intercept off now go to the application the password has changed this is the scenario of the original request now log out and use the admin and password is new password it got logged in now as an attacker we are the responsible to change the password to different password so let us try to change take this to notepad plus plus and change here from the new password to type admin so i'm keeping password as admin 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 so this is my password and this is my retype the new password now i'm saving this now we have done the forgery of this particular form and you can send this html page to anyone who has logged in this application and definitely their password will change to admin so for now let us take this html form and keep it here there is a link generated as a submit request so for the victim we cannot send this directly in this manner you might have seen click here to win ipod click here for ipl tickets you know 
click here for any offers, Amazon sales. We need to write in such a manner where user can wantedly click this link. So for example, I got this link to click here to win iPod. Then I just click this. And in the background, the password has been changed. This I don't know which password I have kept. Attacker has sent to me, I have changed the password. Next time, this user cannot log in. For example, if I am a user, I am typing admin and I am giving new password. This is my password which I kept earlier and I clicked login. The login got failed. Because hacker or hacker has changed the password to admin. So now let us try to log in as admin and password as admin. Now we are able to log in successfully. That means the forgery request has been, you know, successfully executed. This is the CSRF attack, and the same happens for banking applications as well. You know, you can take a task of changing for the banking application as well. Take the site as demo test fire.net where you can perform the CSRF attack in the demo test file. So once you log in with admin, you have some transaction page. So demo test file is also a vulnerable internet application where you can perform the CSRF attack. So this task is for you guys. You know, I'm giving a clue here. You can perform this task and let me know you know whether you got executed take the transfer funds the transfer funds will have from account to account and amount to transfer this is a form submission and you as an attacker you can transfer the funds to every anyone you know without the knowledge of the user the amount can be transferred from one account to another account so let us try to intercept and I can stop this so that, you know, this is a task for you for CSRF attack. So I'm transferring $1 or $100 in general. This is my original request, which I transferred. So $100 were successfully transferred from one account to another account. How do we do the forgery of this request? So we can have the forgery of the request by intercepting in the burp suit and capture it. So let us do in the burp browser, we are doing in the normal browser. So let me log in this again, admin, admin. So we are in the transfer funds and I'm transferring the $100 where we can do the transfer money. This is the request where we can use engagement tools, CSRF, POC, and from here, copy HTML. And this is the original request of any form submission so there is nothing change you can see the same kind of a format and you can change the forgery of these values you can transfer the funds using csrf so there are a lot of websites a lot of forms where you can do the csrf attack successful and how this attack is getting successful so you should have some kind of a prevention method as well to stop these attacks. So this is your task. In demo test fire, you can do the transfer funds and prevention. How do you prevent this? So you can tell 
this is prevented by using anti csrf tokens we can prevent by using one time passwords in banking websites when you do the transfer funds you will be getting the one time password or you will be getting the captcha while login or you can have some kind of a cookie attribute as well cookie attributes also will help you some same site is one of the cookie attribute that can help you to prevent such attacks as a you know black hat hacker you can do the transfer funds as a white hat hacker you can also prevent these kind of attacks and secure all the websites so you are the one who can secure the world secure the application okay i hope this helps you much information oh happy hacking thank you for listening this video